Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to another Lost Ark video. I'm still a little bit under the weather, but I wanted to record um, just kind of a video of me yapping, you know? I just want to yap. And I haven't done a yapping video in quite some time, so I figured why not do some yapping like the good old days? And why not do it while I run the cube? Because I still have quite a few cubes I need to run. So I figure why not? Kick back, relax, and just hang out with you guys for a little bit. How is, uh, how's Tier 4 treating us all? It's been, as of me recording this, just about a week. Just a little bit over a week since uh, Tier 4 first uh, graced us with its presence over here in the West. I mean, I... I am, like, I guess, okay with it. I mean, it's just more of the same, ultimately. And... I mean, it's it's cool, I guess. Like, Hyper Awakenings are fine. But, in terms of, like, actual new content or systems, it's just more of the same. We lose a little bit of QOL and we gain a little bit of QOL in different areas, I mean... The new Chaos Dungeon's obviously really good. Uh, I mean, there's no complaining about that. I don't really care for the new Guardian. What are we doing here? I don't really care for the new Guardian. I think the Guardian is fucking obnoxious. But hey. I'm sure with time, people will get better at it, because as it is right now, it's still... I mean, it's a grab bag. As far as raid stuff goes, I'm not looking forward to Aegir, but it's not a surprise that I'm not looking forward to Aegir. I think this game releases raids too fast, and I've, I've been a propo proponent of that like notion for a long time. I... I don't know. I mean, I know why. I don't play Lost Ark exclusively, and I like to have other things to do, which is why I don't get burned out of this game nearly as much as I used to. But having to learn new raids constantly is just... It's mentally uh, draining, honestly. And it's like, you can see it in how I play Maple Story as well, if you guys watch my Maple Story stuff. I typically don't learn new bosses in Maple Story until I'm like feeling like doing it, even though I could have technically been clearing a boss for X amount of time. Just because I I don't feel up to learning. And it takes like a certain kind of mindset to want to learn things. But Lost Ark, you can't really do that. I mean you can, but it feels like you can't, if that makes sense, you know what I mean? Like, if you don't learn the thing initially when it first launches, you just make it infinitely more difficult for yourself later on, I think is what it really comes down to. It's less so that you can't, and it's more so that it just makes it harder for you. And I think more barriers to um, entry is just not good, if that makes sense. But that's just sort of where I'm at in terms of, like, I don't know, how I feel about raids and whatnot. I mean, I don't know, man. I feel like, ultimately, and I think I've said this a few times before in my videos, but I feel like, ultimately, I don't think I'm the target demographic for this game. Despite how much I love the grind, like, I really do enjoy grindy things, if that isn't apparent. I love monotonous grinds, but I don't really like the way that the grind is set up in Lost Ark. And I also dislike how impossible it feels for a newer player to start playing the game. Because whereas games like Maple Story, I can get my friends to come in and try Maple Story at like seasonal updates or whatever, and they'll have an enjoyable time for the most part. Because the game is not set up in a way to where 
I can't do things with them. Whereas in Lost Ark, I think it's very, like, you can't do anything with people unless you're just going to outright carry them. And I'm not sure carrying your friends is, like, fun for them or really you. If that makes sense. And it's not like they can really play on their own. Because, again, in order to play with the people that have been playing the game for so long, they'll be missing a bunch of different systems and whatnot. So it's just hard for me. To convince my friends or other friends to come back and try the game or play the game and try it out. So it just kind of perpetuates the cycle of like, I don't have any of my friends to play with. And then you can always make the argument of, okay, we'll just meet new friends. And it's like, yeah, that's great and all, but I don't know. Believe it or not, I'm not the most social person. Which is funny, considering I make videos and whatnot, I get it. But I'm really not. And I really do treasure the friends that I have. And rather than just constantly make new friends and meet new people, I would much rather focus on the friends that I do have and the relationships that I do have made. And it just sucks. Because... One of the things that I enjoy doing, i.e. Lost Ark, I just, I can't enjoy it with any of my friends, really. Just by the way the game is designed. And I mean, Ignite servers are really good, don't get me wrong. But, after the Ignite servers are over, I mean, it's just going to be more of the same problem that we have had the whole time. If that makes sense. I don't know. Let me know if any of what I'm saying makes sense. Like I said, this is just a pure ramble video. Uh, I think I might make a couple of these. Just because... I don't know. I have stuff to say. I have random shit to talk about. And it's just interesting background noise, second monitor material, whatever. And I mean... The real OGs know that's where my channel originated from. Is just me fucking yapping to... No one. And it was designed around being second monitor content. Never forget your roots, that's what I always say. God damn, my throat is struggling. At least we made it this far. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Like the video if you like it, subscribe, all that good stuff. Bigger number, better person. And thank you to my YouTube members. Blitzels, Remix of My Life. I'm Nufu. It's Biscuit Tinder Diz. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye.